Yeah, I guess uh, can, you, can you describe the feeling right now? Uh, not really. I don't think it's really set in for me yet. I mean, growing up, your dream is to play in the NHL, and I think this is a small, small step to, to get there, and it just feels still surreal, and just can't even believe it. Yeah, well, growing up from Minnesota, I'd watch a lot of Zach Parisi, so he went to I went he went to the same boarding school I went to, and he went to North Dakota. So, growing up, he's been a favorite player of mine for a long time when he was at the Wild, and even at New Jersey. So, he's a player that I love to follow, and he had some success at, in Colorado, and I think it's a very cool spot and a cool destination. Just going to shot at Nathan McKinnon with there as well. I mean, just. You know, those kind of thoughts started going through your mind, the players that they've got on the roster already? Yeah, a little bit. I mean, Shaq's, uh, they, at that place, uh, I owe everything to them. They've developed me as a player and given me the, uh, the tools to become the player I am and the person I am, too. So it's a pretty special place, and I think I could easily be here without them. How would you describe yourself as a player? I think I'm a fast, uh, hard-nosed, hard-grit player that I like to I like to play in the big games and make the big plays, and I, I enjoy I enjoy. Um, producing for my team and winning hockey games is the best part of it. Uh, I want to want to want to get bigger, stronger, and faster. I mean, the more you move up in levels, up to the NHL and juniors and even college, uh, the guys are heavier, stronger, faster. So, kind of just develop that, develop my body and my mind as a player, and get mentally ready and physically ready for those next couple levels up. Uh, my whole my whole family grew up in North Dakota. My dad grew up in Devil's Lake. My mom grew up in Bismarck. So I got grandparents out there that live in there. I got cousins too. So growing up, I've lived in North Dakota, and I mean I've been going to those camps since I was a little kid. So that's what it's kind of a dream of mine ever since I was little. What do you? Oh, uh, I'm going to the Green Bay Gamblers in the USHL. What things do you want to work on in your game next year in Green Bay before you get to North Dakota? Uh, I want to work on my passing a little bit more. I think this year I was more of a shoot first kind of guy and kind of want to work on passing and making the guys around me a lot better and have them produce too as well as me. What has this whole uh, week and experience been like being in Las Vegas and at the Sphere and what, what are your impressions of it? It's been it's been so cool. It's an honor to be here and in the Sphere. It's, it does, it's pretty crazy how... Yeah, like the it's like a massive jumbotron all around, so it's pretty cool, and it's a once in a lifetime experience. And I was ha happy and fortunate enough that I was able to able to be a part of it. Yeah, I think so. I think I I think I leave tomorrow, so I was talking to talking to someone. So I think that my flight's booked for tomorrow, so that'll be a quick turnaround, but it'll be fun. What, what sort of what, what sort of contact did you have with the athletes before the draft? Uh, I talked with them a good amount. We uh, they'd come down to Shattuck St. Mary's where our school is at, and come and interview a couple of us here and there, and uh, kind of talking with my agent. They said that they they really enjoyed my game and that I was a great player. So I was, and I love Colorado. I think they're they're a winning team, and that's the best part about hockey is winning hockey games. So when you get a, to be a part of an organization that does a lot of winning, it's pretty special. What was that? Uh, growing up. Of course, watched a lot of Zach Priest. I mean, he's a little bit undersized guy. He's about five, five ten, five eleven. But I mean, he played. He played like he was six five, and yeah, he's a player that I think I'd want to emulate my game after. He's a hard nose, scores a lot of goals, makes plays, and of course, growing up and going to Shaq, Nathan McKinnon too. He's best player in the NHL today. So he's a pretty special player, pretty fast player. So I'd like to emulate his speed or. You know, even have half his hands or half his shot, it'd be pretty special. He's a he's an unbelievable player. What, uh, what was that experience like in the uh, It was a blast. I mean, anytime you get to represent your country overseas, it's pretty special. And uh, we didn't get the gold medal we want, but we still medaled, and it's still something to be proud of. It was the, I think it was the first time in the last couple of years that a U.S. team has medaled in that tournament. So. It was a very special, cool experience, and it's cool to see how the the European lifestyle kind of is over there, and like the road, even the roads and some of the cars are a lot different. So I loved it. It was very grateful to be a part of that and represent my country. Uh, I think it's I think it's special. I mean, I went to school with Izzy, so growing up, or I went to Shaq Smith with Cole, and he's a he's an unbelievable player and bunch of those guys too, Brody Zemer, those guys are special players and 
Uh, I've just been honored that I was able to play with them for a little bit, part of their career, and they're they're great, great dudes, even better players. So I was just, I, I'm so proud of them and what they've accomplished, and it's a pretty cool experience. What is this sport for the Olympics in the future? What do you think? Pardon? What do you think is sport for the Olympics for the U.S. in a few years? Uh, in the Olympics, I think I think the U.S. wins it. I think they take it down. I think I think U.S. wins it all. I mean. Being from America, I mean, Canada's got a pretty good team too every year and some of the, the, the European teams, but I think U.S. tops all. Are there any people you'd like to shout out that have helped you get into this Yeah, of course, my, my parents, they've been the biggest, my biggest supporters day in and day out. I mean, my dad has done so much for me, so many sacrifices. And of course, my grandparents, my nana and papa, everyone that's that's been there. And even my, my cousin Jack, he's been there through it all. So it's just takes a village to get to this point. I'll forever be thankful for what they've done and what they've sacrificed to get me here. All set, guys? All right, cool, thank you. Thank you. Perfect, thank you, you guys. Got your shoe no, I think he has it. I think there's a picture of...